it's half I am back again and today I have got a super super special video. This massive box arrived yesterday. This is from the lovely Omnia. Um, I'll leave her linked down below. We decided to do a little swapsy. Uh, she is one of the only other people I'm like, I mean I know other people who are into nail polish but I'm kind of the only person that she knows who's like super into nail polish, um, so there's probably some nail polish in here, um, and some other things, um, I haven't opened it, I haven't looked at it, I, I don't actually know what's in here, um, her package from me is on the way, hopefully she will get it really soon, um, this arrived like super duper fast, we were both like super surprised I think, um, and she's given me a little printout. Oh, okay. I think they're the ones from... Oh, it's the printout of all the nail polish. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So, there are... In the worms of Bunny, there are worms. There's lots of little green worms. Um, I'm just going to... Move the green worms off the top. This box is so much bigger than the box I sent her. <laughs> but uh, it, it, <laughs> postage in and out of both of our countries is kind of stupid, so it does, does cost a lot of money. So I really hope when she gets hers that she really enjoys it. Um, different kind of items in mind probably than what's in hers. So, oh, let's have a look, please. So, the first thing I see is a um, soap. It's a salt bar. It's one that she made. Um, and it's got what my son would refer to as fancy ass salt, as in pink Himalayan salt, which he has just discovered. So, that's interesting. Um, and apparently it's got some Aussie pink clay in it, which, you know, it's it's gone all that way and then come back again. Um, Alright. Oh, we have some stuff from Zany Laney. Um, Zany Laney is a... They did start doing it originally with melts, but then they changed. So she sent me the body scrub in About to Begin. This looks like that. Interesting. I don't know what scent that is, but it looks like Mary Poppins. The picture looks like Mary Poppins. And a To the Moon and Back, a pink candy, cotton candy, and rock candy. Don't all candies just smell like sugar? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that one smells like sugar. Um, that sounds like something that Steph would really like because it's got um, pink candy in it and she likes pink sugar fragrances. Holy guacamole. Okay. I, I've just... Yeah. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> um, I've just got back from uni and this was like the first thing on my agenda was just to open this up. Um, my hubby seems to think that there's food in here so he's like... Open it up so I can eat it. Um, I'm like, I don't know that there's any food in this one. Um, that's probably because I did send Omnia food. Or Omnia. I'm not really 100% sure. Like, I keep hearing her say it. And I can hear her saying it in my head. But then I can't make my mouth say it. Could be the Australian thing. And my son's in the kitchen laughing at me right now. Apparently it's because I'm a bogan. Um, there's this pineapple container. She knows me. She knows I like pineapples. And lots and lots of more bubble wrap to add to my collection of bubble wrap. Don't worry, she's getting a whole bunch of it back because I had a whole bunch of it. Oh, pretties for your face. Yay. So from pretties for your face, we have Taste the Rainbow Lip Balm. 
I've been really looking forward to getting something from them. It's just, you know, buying stuff from overseas. It's just, it's just difficult. And the a Jelly Bean Lip Scrub. That's awesome. I need a new lip scrub. And just so much stuff. She has packaged this all, like, really nicely. Like, lots of bubble wrap so it doesn't get broken or anything. So we have a couple of, they look like eyeshadows. We have Violet Vision, which is clearly purple. I don't know how well you can see it. And Mirkwood, which is a tealy green. So clearly, I mean, Omnia asked me what I wanted and I kind of had a bit of a look, but I only picked like a couple of things. So she clearly... Uh, went, oh, what would, what would half like, um, and she wasn't wrong, and we have, I'm um, pretty sure this is a, oh, holy cow, this is a highlighter, this is a galactic, holy cow, is insane. Wow. That is awesome. I had heard that they were like really good, but of course because I hadn't actually seen them myself. Like it's one thing to see in people's videos, it's another to see for yourself in real time what they're really like. And the other the last one is lit. more of a uh, champagne-y. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> that, oh, wow. Those are incredible. No wonder, like, the makeup girls are just, like, dying for these. They're just... I really see it from here, but they, oh, they are beautiful. Oh my god. Um, you're too much on the eye, you really are. You've sent me so much stuff, and I'm just like, oh my god. Uh, she, she did a video not long ago, she picked up some brushes from, should me say, I think it was? Um, and they weren't brushes that she would use, but I would, so she sent them to me, so that's cool. Um, a couple of stippling brushes and a couple of shadow brushes, so I'm always happy to add brushes to my collection. She's also chucked in, because she's sent me some Zoya polish, she chucked in their, um, wide brush, which is interesting, because I've never actually, wow, the difference between the two brushes. So this is the wide brush instead of the narrow brush. I suppose some people just don't like the classic precision brush. Precision brush is fine if you've got like really small fingernails. So, um, so the Zoya polishes. Oh wow. Hey, I only picked like two that I mentioned. I thought they were both ones that you can't get, so. <laughs> okay, she sent me Cosmo. <laughs> she sent me Cosmo clearly because it's a silver holographic. Um, see, this shows that people pay attention to you when, you know, they send you something simply because they know that it's something that you really like and that means a lot. She also sent me leopard spots. I have very few Zoya polishes. Um, the main Zoya polishes I have are ones that were um, given, that were part of my makeup kit or my, my beauty kit for um, beauty school and none of those have ever gone down. 
Um, this is a leopard spots topper. So I'm guessing, it's just black, I'm guessing it's a bit like um, a crackle polish, but makes leopard spots. I haven't actually heard of it, so there you go. We have Logan. A friend of mine had a puppy dog that died not long ago called Logan. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Green with a gold shimmer. Of course, all of these nail polishes will get swatch videos at some point. We have Imogen. I like the name Imogen. Oh wow. It's a black with holographic sparkles in it, glitters in it. I know Omnia does, it's also a pixie dust one, so if you don't know what they are, they're, they're kind of like textured type ones from Zoya. I know Omnia doesn't like glitter. She likes shimmer, but she doesn't like glitter. So I didn't send you any like super glittery polishes. <laughs> uh, Snowflake in a fiery group. Oh, this is a Lin B design. This is not Zoya. Mm, hang on a sec. I got a double. Okay, this one's, this one's a Zoya. Um, this is a Godiva, which is a kind of neutrally colour with a really strong silver shimmer glitter thing going on. So it's really interesting. Super interesting. Um, and we have Juniper. Sounds like it should be green. It's a teal to purple multi-chrome pixie dust, or duochrome pixie dust, um, focus. That is awesome. Yeah, it's got a really strong silver shimmer in it, but yeah, it's actually teal to purple, or green to purple. That is awesome. I think that's all the Zoya ones. Then one of the Zoya boxes was one from Lin B Designs. I have never had anything from Lin B Designs. This is called Snowflake in a Fiery Grip. Ah, oh, it's a Crelly. So it's an off-white Crelly with gold oh, copper more copper um, flakies in it. That's really interesting. So looking forward to trying that one out because as I said, never tried Lin B before. Um, hmm. <laughs> I just found another couple of ones that um, are Zoya bottles. There's just so much in here. I'm just like, oh my god. Oh. If I had the ability to cry, I'd probably be crying. Tear ducts don't work properly though. Oh wow. Um, pixie dust called Cookie, which, you know, it's purple. With gold and, yeah, very much me, probably. Oh, it's so beautiful. I have so much fun. And Vega. Now I've heard of Vega, but I can't remember what it looks like. Oh wow. It is a blue, uh, I think it's actually a blue metallic, but it's got like the bottle, like this side of the bottle, you just see the blue. And then you turn the bottle around, and all you see is holographic, silver holographic glitters. So I'm thinking, silver holographic, and then I turn to the bottle around, and it's blue. This doesn't want to shake very well. I'm going to have to do some work on it to get that silver holographic to spread properly. But that's cool. That's really interesting. It's like a really navy, navy kind of blue. 
Um, I know she picked me up some stuff from the Polish Pickup because that was one of the things that we talked about. Um, and I picked out a couple of things from the March Polish Pickup that, which was album related, albums related. Um, I went mostly on colours rather than bands or anything. You know, some people are like that. This is cool. Um, this one is news of the news of the world from Fancy Gloss. See green with red. Looks a bit like Christmas, really. Looks like somebody took a Christmas tree with its ornaments on and just like vitamized it. That's really interesting. Oh, they're flakies. That's got like red flakies in it. And then there is. This one. Need my knife, my kniffy again. You get a whole bunch of these bags in yours as well on there. So this one's another Lin B designs. This is dragon scales. Oh my god. It's a uh, purple with green shifting multi chrome flakies. It's definitely purple even though it looks a lot like the blue one in my nails, but in my monitor anyway. But it is definitely purple. It's almost a blurple. Now there's one here that says it was from the March Polish Pickup, and I think this was the one she was talking about in her video that she got for herself, but then she saw it and she thought, um, it was me, so, oh wow, she sent it to me, <laughs> no scars to your beautiful, from Night Owl Lacquer, and it's teal with uh, red to gold shifting multi-chrome flakies, from the look of things, I haven't actually looked on the, the list of things that she sent me some paperwork which probably has the descriptions of the nail polishes but um, I didn't look at that before. <laughs> look at that. Okay, what's in here? It smells good, whatever it is. Oh, wow. So, these are from... It's a royalty soap soap. Rosemary mint soap from Royalty Soaps. I love watching Katie um, make soap. Oh, that's so cool. Mm, can sort of smell it, but that's really cool. Um, and then there is from Sorcery Soap a soap cookie. <laughs> It's, uh, I'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be. Um, a crafty witch's enchanted soap. Okay. It looks a little bit like a gnome. The top half of a gnome. There's the, the nose there. But that's cool. That's a bit different. And then... Also from Sorcery Soap, we have a soap cookie that is um, very glittery. But that is so cool. I've heard of Sorcery Soap, um, and I think I've seen some of her stuff before, but clearly not up, up close and personal. Um, okay, more nail polish. Took a break from the nail polish for a minute. This one is from Moonshine Manning. I have been following Phoebe since before she got like, like before she blew up and before she started Moonshine Manning, which is her nail polish company. Um, this is Ragnarok, which is a green, green to red or bronze, um, 
it's at least a duo chrome. It might be a multi chrome with multi chrome flakies that are red to green as well. It's a very, very interesting polish. And I have been wanting some Moonshine Manny for a really long time, um, but the, the shipping is just kind of, it's terrible. Mike, how much nail polish did you send me? Not that I'm complaining. I just didn't realise there was so much of it. <laughs> oh my God. I know there was a whole bunch of nail polish that on the board that she only realised that she wasn't going to like because it had too much like glitter and stuff in it. And she didn't really have anybody else who was going to take it off her hands. Uh, this is Destroyer from Never Enough. I can't read. Um, which is another indie company. This is very clearly going to have a lot of glitter. It's a uh, green to orange to reddy brown multi-chrome. It's almost, oh, it almost goes to purple. Okay. Uh, with silver. It, it's definitely a multi-chrome. It's got at least three colour shifts. Um, if you don't know, a duochrome only shifts from one colour to another colour. Multichrome means it's got three or more colour shifts in it. In case you weren't aware of that. Because not everybody knows. So, And you hear us like nail people talking about these things and you might not know what we're talking about. Oh, wow. So we have a native wall paints. This is Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom. This is one of the polish pickup ones. And it is a super dark purple multi, pretty sure it's a multi cream. Um, it's, it looks almost black. It's definitely purple. It is gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I just realized she's put in a whole bunch of the Zoya wide brushes. Because apparently she had about 20 of them. Because um, every time now you buy a Zoya polish, they seem to send you brushes, like the wide brush. And I'm like, why not just put the wide brushes in the bottles and then you wouldn't have to worry about it? Unless it's only with ones that don't yet have the wide brushes. I don't know, it just seems weird. Another indie polish. I can't get my finger in there. And it's sort of sticking to bubble. This. Oh, it's a KO polish. This is Mindy. KO polish is Kathleen Light's nail polish company, uh, which has now uh, ceased production. So I am super happy to get one of her polishes just so I can see what they were like. Um, I don't really watch Kathleen anymore, but I did use to once upon a time. I tend to only watch small YouTubers these days. Um, once people get over like about a million, a lot of them are just not as much fun to watch anymore. Um, we have another. <laughs> this one <laughs> doesn't want to come out of the bag. Uh, it's another Moonshine Manny. This one is a... This one's more of a duo chrome. Green to red. This is Molten Core. So it's kind of got that lavery look to it. Very cool. Running out of space. We have... Another Linby Designs. I'm still pulling out worms. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. This one is Am I Crying or Laughing? Um, very appropriate. Uh, mint green with Silver holographic, yeah, silver holographic glitters in it. 
So sometimes it's easier to squint because you can't really tell if they're, if they're not getting sunlight. It's not very sunny today. Um, we are heading, well, it should be autumn here already. We're already a month into it and it's only just starting to load. So Another night owl lacquer. This one is called Dead Inside. And this is actually perfect for my middle child because not only is it called Dead Inside, which is what he will tell you he is, it's green. It is like dark green. Um, uh, yeah. So this is like very much him. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's literally sitting over there and he's just like... So we have a KB Shimmer. I have never had a KB Shimmer before. Um, these are kind of settling weird. Probably because they've been transported. Um, this is <laughs> Resting Witch Face. Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty much. Um, it is a green with green glitter. Which, which is awesome. Um, yeah, this is from October's um, polish pickup, and probably because it's got like some fairly chunky glitter in it, which is probably why Omnia sent it my way. Um, very chunky glitter. One of the benefits of having acrylic nails is that it doesn't really matter if you get, if glitter's hard to get off, it's not like it destroys your nails or anything. We're getting there, guys. I'm, I'm getting down the bottom of the, the box. We have another Night Owl Lacquer on the look of the bottle. I really like these bottles. They're like really square and chunky. This one, it has pink hollow glitter in a purple base and it's called Crazy AF. That would be me. <laughs> That is freaking gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Freaking gorgeous. Okay. Hmm. Here we, go. we have another Moonshine Manny. See, I can tell by the bottle shape without even seeing them. This one is a absolutely gorgeous looking polish. This is Soulstone. It is a looks like a red to purple to green multi-chrome with green to purple flakies I'm guessing and maybe some holographic it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous it's really hard to see of course for you guys um, especially as my camera does not want to focus it's like a galaxy right there. Um, and we have one that is wrapped differently to all the rest. Another kale polish. This one is <laughs> Mother of Dragons to go with my Dance of Dragons nail polish. Uh, this one is um, like a old gold. Be the simplest way of putting it. Awesome. Um, I'm assuming that's for Khaleesi. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Okay, so we have from Benton Cosmetics we have a whole bunch of little sample things. Um, so like just little eye gels and eye creams and stuff. Little samples of hand cream. So that's really cool. I always like a good sample. Um, if this smells like body cream or hand cream or body wash or something. This is the Cutica um, 
wild vanilla wild plum sugar scrub. Um, Cutica is Zoya's like almost like skincare brand, but like um, manicure pedicure type line. That's that's what Cutica is. So that's awesome. It actually smells really good too. I can actually smell it. <laughs> More nail polish. Two in here. So these are both from Lin B Designs. I have quite a large Lin B Designs collection now. Um, these actually almost fit a, a, um, a video I'm doing in April for Easter polishes, so flecked polishes. Um, this one is ridiculous which is a very pale it's almost an egg blue with flakies in it in sort of a goldy and a blue I think could be green it's a little hard to tell <laughs> and then there is mermaidicorn so a mermaid with a horn, obviously, um, which is a much lighter, like this is more green than this one, this one's, um, so it's kind of almost a lavender colour with, it's got blue and green and silver in it, it's, it's really super pretty, very, very different. So we have this weird box thing. Oh. This is Naked Manicure, which again is a um, Zoya line. Um, so we have a hand and body serum and a hand and body cream. Um, that was the line that they made, Zoya made originally. It was a lot focused towards like. Uh, just making your nails look healthier and like getting men involved in getting their nails done which is where that one kind of like started off and then okay so we have we're almost there almost there. the three package little packages left so this one's got nail polish in it. it sounds like a silly thing to say at this stage doesn't it This one is from Static Lacquer, which I've never had one from Static Lacquer. In fact, I hadn't even heard of Static Lacquer, Lacquer before the polish pickup. This one's actually from October. Um, the Dead Start to Walk. It is a muted green with red to green or orange to green shifting multi flakies. That's really interesting. And one from Zombie 4. This bubble wrap just wants to be popped. It doesn't want to be opened. Super interesting. Okay. This is called Halloween Candy and it is like it's a light brownie colour, but then it's got lots of glitters that are like orange and red and silver and black. And it's got some holographic bits in it and oh and of course this bit's hollow as well, which is always good. That's really interesting. Wow. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> and we have something else bubble wrapped. 
Oh, this looks like an eyeshadow palette. This looks like a prettiest for your face eyeshadow palette. And it is. This is, actually it's not the eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure this is the highlighter palette. Yep. Eyeshadow, highlighter, they both work the same. This is a Mind at Work, uh, which is Hamilton. I haven't seen it. I just, no. Um, so it has three shades in it. It has Angelica, Eliza and Peggy. That is insane. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so I think that's everything else. Yes. So the last thing is something that um she met um Omnea mentioned in, in our conversations that she had one that was like rolled up and was had her name on it and it's just this little analyte. It's quite small, but I think I know what it is. Oh my god. Wow. So what she has done is she has gone to Robin Moses and she has bought Robin Moses's two nail art brushes. These are the brushes that she uses when she does most of her nail art. Uh, this one's called The Wand and this is Unicorn. Um, so this one's a really long thin striper brush. This is the one that she does most of her detail and most of her work with. And I'm just... Oh, I have been... It's one of those things that's been on my list for a really long time. Um, I really love Robin's work. She's very talented and she shares her um, craft quite openly with people. I actually do a collaboration every month that um, uses her tutorials to like learn new techniques and stuff. So I am beyond, beyond overjoyed to actually have her brushes. So yeah, I am so overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting anywhere near this much stuff, quite frankly, um, and I'm just, I'm really not sure, I, I haven't processed it properly yet, so, um, yeah, I, thank you again, Omnia, I really hope when you get your parcel that you um, enjoy what I sent you, uh, I certainly didn't send you um, 30 bottles of nail polish or whatever it is, um, um, but I, I hope you still enjoy what I sent you. Um, so if you want, um, let me try again, um, Omnia of course will be linked down below so go and give her some love. She is an amazing, amazing woman. Um, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content, leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.